What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of I Know Chris. And on the show today, my friends, we're going to be doing a review of Icebox Margaritas. We got a regular margarita, peach margarita, and a pineapple margarita, and a Long Island iced tea. Now, Long Island iced tea, normally in the United States, is made out of about, I think, four or five different uh, liquors. Now, when I say liquors, a lot of people see my view and say, oh, them wines. Well, mixed drinks in the United States, and probably most countries, uh, are made of liquor, which consists of, like, rum... Uh, vodka, tequila, I mean, it's, it's, it's that tight, it's not wine. But today, these were brought in a local beer store, which doesn't sell liquor products. So these are actually made with wine. 10% alcohol, 20 proof is what is in each one of these bottles. This is a nice little kick. But like I said, these are wine-made, I guess, flavored margaritas. You got the regular, you got the peach, and we got the pineapple. And I'm going to tell you if they taste like an actual margarita that would be made with, like, tequila... United States, we would use a liquor like tequila to make it. I'm not really sure if they're going to taste that good or not. They were $1.35 per each bottle. That's really, really cheap for, I think it was 20 proof. Yes, 20 proof, 10% alcohol. Got a nice little kick per little bottle for like $1.35, $1.40 each bottle. So I'm going to pour them up in the glass. We're going to give them a taste. I'm going to tell you if they actually taste like margaritas. Or do they taste like wine coolers? And yes, today these do have wine in them. They do not have liquors in them. So that is going to be a difference. But I want to see how close they taste like a true margarita. So then let's do that. pour these things up. We're going to start off with the regular margarita first. We're going to pour it up. Like I said, not very expensive. So to be honest with you, I'm not expecting a whole lot from this. Now you can pour this up usually on ice or just drink it out the bottle. How you going to do it? Smell, I'll be honest with you. I mean, it smells like a margarita. It almost smells like it has tequila in it, which it doesn't. It has wine. So let's give it a little taste. This is just a regular margarita by Icebox. About a dollar and thirty-five dollar forty cent. Wow. Mmm. <coughs> it's very sour. Very sour. Everybody was asking me what the stuff tastes like. Very sour. This is this margarita one. Margarita has a little lime. Uh, kick to it usually, but this mm, doesn't smell very pleasant. Mm, mm, mm. Whew. That's one you would drink and definitely get a headache from. It doesn't taste like a tequila ma margarita made with real liquor. You can tell it's been altered with a wine. Is it drinkable? Yes, you could drink it. Will you get a buzz from it? Yes. But it is so tart and sour tasting. It is, it's not very tasty to me. It is so tart and so bitter. Ooh, and it's got sweetness to it. This will probably make you sick if you drink many of those. I'm going to tell you right off the bat. Now this right here is the peach. We're going to go with the peach next margarita. Like I said, these are made with wine. Not real uh, tequila or real liquor. So I know they're going to taste different. But I'm trying to give them a chance. For like a $1.30, $1.40. It's very cheap. Hey, I think I feel, I'm feeling the buzz from that already. I mean, the 20 proof. Oh. Mm. Peach. Yeah. Wow. If you ever had a Georgia peach or peach anywhere, the peach smell is very pleasant. And the taste is, I mean, it's, it's sweet. Wow. That's, that's pretty pleasant. Now, so far... This would be my winner if I had to pick a winner out of these. The peach flavor is, stands way out. Wow, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. <laughs> I've drank a little bit, look. I've only drank a little bit, but I'm already feeling the buzz. Mmm. $1.35, cent, I believe it was. I mean, with tax, like $1.45 or something like that. Wow. This is very pleasant tasting. This is very sour. If you like sour, this may you may say, wow. But if you do, if you're gonna compare this to a real margarita, you're gonna say, no, 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 no. It's not. It's a copycat, but it's very sour. This is very pleasant. This is peachy, sweet. It's very pleasant. I mean, God, I, I really like this. Alright, we're gonna so far we're gonna give this some two thumbs up for the peach margarita. I know Chris says two thumbs up. Let's move right along to the next one. This is gonna be the pineapple. And I love pineapple stuff. So I'm really interested in seeing what the pineapple margarita tastes like. So let's pour it up and give it a little taste, my friends. Oh. 
And I am going to have more cooking videos. People ask for more cooking videos. I even did a little vote thing because I don't want to see more cooking videos. They're coming. Um, these are some beverages I had on hand. So you're going to probably have been seeing already one already with the captain before you see this maybe. Or maybe you're seeing this before the captain. I don't know. I'm telling it, I'm telling it before it happens. Uh, got a couple drink reviews on. Get out of the way. And then we'll go back to cooking. All right. Pineapple. Margarita. Man, this right here is so pleasant. I want to go back and drink this again. Woo! Pineapple's like, bam! Right in your face, I know, Chris. Wow. Okay. That kind of has a pineapple coconut taste. Woo! Okay. Sweet. Yeah, pineapple. Wow. Punch you right in your face. If you like pineapple, this, I mean, dollar thirty something, dollar forty cent for this. 20 proof? It'll rock your world you drink a couple of these. Man, I'm feeling so buzzed, y'all. I'm going to start messing up here in a minute. I am getting buzzed. Mmm. Yeah. That is really pleasant. These two right here so far, two thumbs up. If you like a pineapple taste product, can't go wrong. It doesn't taste like a wine cooler. Um, I don't know what country you're in watching this, but wine coolers sometimes are not very pleasant tasting. Uh, it says it has wine in this, but this is very much right on to pineapple. You taste pineapple. You're not tasting no alcohol. This is tastes like a, just a fruit drink, a uh, pineapple drink. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, I would put, because I love pineapple, I would say this one right here first, this one second, this one right here is last so far. Now, the Long Island iced tea has got nothing to do with margaritas, uh, like I said, usually when you get this in a bar, it's sort of, I think it has four or five different liquors. I and mean, consisting of like tequila, rum, vodka, whatever. It's, it's, it's like a combination of different liquors to make this drink. So, But this is made with wine. I have had a Long Island iced tea. And we're going to see if it tastes like it. I, I know what a real Long Island iced tea tastes like. My tongue's going to get twisted drinking on this alcohol, y'all. I'm also going to say get it out of the way because I always do this on my, all my reviews because you got to be responsible when you're doing stuff like this. Don't want nobody getting the wrong idea. I am not an alcoholic and everybody's like, oh, you need to drink moderate. I do drink moderate, y'all. Uh, I do these reviews for y'all and people here in the United States or anywhere that may bear to pick up these products and want to know what they taste like before they spend their money. And that's why I do the reviews. I'm not going to sit here and drink all this stuff. I almost knocked that over. <laughs> that would have been a blooper reel. But anyway, don't drink and drive. If you drink any alcohol products, Stay where you're at. Let somebody else, if that is not drinking, drive you home, please. Don't do nothing stupid out there. Be responsible. Always like to get that out of the way. All right, Long Island iced tea. It looks like tea, my friends. Give it a little taste. Wait a minute, first. It has an odd smell, my friends. Does it smell like tea? I don't know what that smells like. Oh, wow, that's, that's different. Okay. Stop the bus. <laughs> I know Chris get off. God. Okay. If you ever, if you're out there and you're watching this and you ever had a Long Island iced tea, you know it's a combination of several different whisk, uh, not whiskey, several different, <laughs> see, this is where you don't drink and drive, several different liquors to make a Long Island iced tea. And they went wild on this. Um, this is undrinkable. Wow. And if you're one of the people out there that does not like the way alcohol just punches you in the face, stay away from this Long Island iced tea by Icebox. Cannot condone this at all. Oh, my gosh. I almost want to say it tastes like cleaning solution. I ain't drank no cleaning solution. But, my God. Oh, all right. I always say, if you can't tell when you go in one time, go in twice. Here we go. Go in two times, y'all. Just for y'all. Mmm. Y'all. Woo-hoo-hoo! That one's got some punch. This is not my favorite. Ah, that's almost undrinkable. I guess you could if you're an alcoholic. <laughs> you're like, yeah, yummy. God, it's, I'm, I'm turning red. I know I gotta be turning red. I look like I'm turning red, y'all. My gosh. Woo! That bite right there knock you, knock you unconscious by itself. 20% alcohol each bottle, my friends. All right, let's go back from the beginning. Regular margarita. It's okay. I will put this number three. Third favorite. Peach margarita. Mm. 
Smells so pleasant to the nose. Wow. This is number two. Favorite. Number two. Now we're going to go with a pineapple. Ah, I like that. Pineapple. I love pineapple stuff. Pineapple flavor stuff. It doesn't taste like wine. Even though they're using wine in this. This is my number one favorite. Number two. Number three. And this right here is a big thumbs down. I'll go for one more. I'm done, y'all. Oh, gosh. Mm -mm. <laughs> oh, my God. Every time I sip that. Oh, man. Y'all, it's not getting no better. I'm going to leave that alone. It's hard to find a pre-mixed Long Island iced tea, even if you get it with liquors that are pre-mixed. In a liquor store, it's usually not good. It's best usually to get this in a bar done by a professional or done by yourself, by a recipe. But this is just not good. Uh, Icebox, Long Island Iced Tea, it's just no good, my friends. We're going to put you out of you. It's just no good. Pineapple, my friends, is number one. The number two right here, my friends, is the peach. And the number three is the margar just regular margarita. It's nothing wrong with it. If you like margarita, it's not going to be... You're going you're gonna to be a margarita drinker and you're going to say, well... I know, Chris, that does not taste like a regular margarita. Kind of smells like it. It's not terrible. It's definitely drinkable, but my God, it's sour. It's very bitter. And you take this right here, it's so sweet. I don't know, I'm still drinking, y'all. Mm -hmm. mm. That's pleasant. That's very. Put some ice in that, my friends. Throw a peach wedge or a cherry in that. Very tasty. Serve it up to your friends. Pineapple, you like pineapple, it's very pleasant. That's about all to say about it, my friends. These are the winners. One, number two, number three. They all get two thumbs up, except that long out of iced tea, we got it out of, out of the screen because it was very nasty. I can't give props to something that's terrible. I know they have some other flavors in this, but for $1.35 plus tax, around $1.45, something like that here in the U.S. in the beer stores, it's pretty pleasant. I'm sorry if I'm shaking stuff because I got my camera kind of set up on a, a crazy setup today. <laughs> And the reason I'm kind of, I'm probably buzzing, I did a review before this, and I know y'all ain't here, so you don't know what, but I did uh, Not Your Father's Root Beer, which was really good. You gotta go check the review out if you haven't already checked it out, because I think it's gonna be up before this one. The captain does it. Uh, if you missed it, go check it out. And I actually just recorded that, and the captain got out of here, and I'm in here drinking this, so I got a, a buzz on my friends, as I like to say here in the United States. But yeah, for $1.35, you need to go out and try these. If you can get Icebox, um, it's pretty good. It's made with wine. It just says chilled or on ice. I would probably pour this on ice, but I had this in the uh, refrigerator overnight, so it's really cold. But throw some ice in that, you make it even better. Maybe throw a cherry or so in these. This one right here, it's all around the rim. It's a regular margarita. You can maybe pass this off on some people that ain't had much drinking experience as thinking that's a real margarita. But $1.35, that's not bad for a couple drinks. And I'm going to be honest with y'all 20% alcohol, 20 no. 20 proof, 10% alcohol, 10%, 20 proof in each bottle. We'll get you feeling pretty good. Uh, but like I said, don't drink and drive. Please don't do that. Don't drink and drive. And don't think I condone that because I do drinking reviews. I'm 100% against doing stupid stuff. Just don't do it. Uh, don't endanger other people's lives. There's too much craziness going on in the world already. We don't need to be doing that. So I'm going to wrap this review up, my friends. I hope you all enjoyed this. Just kind of lay back in the kitchen today doing this review. Um, if you will, give me a two thumbs up. No, you can only give me one thumbs up. Don't give me a too wide. But if you want to give me a too wide, it's all right. Your opinion counts. I appreciate it anyway. Just appreciate each and every one of you that come here and watch my reviews. Hit the subscribe button down here if you're new to the channel. It really helps my channel grow. We're really growing really fast. Everybody's getting on the bus. I know Chris is picking y'all up. Come on in. Get on back. Here we go. Pick on up. Get on back. <laughs> I'm loving my channel's growing. Um, we're over three. We're over three k. I want to get four k. Four k. I don't know. I feel like if I get to four k, everybody's like, if you get to four k, then you will say five k. Of course I will. But four k will feel really good for my channel. Uh, I'm really overwhelmed by the three thousand plus subscribers that I have to my channel. I think it's three thousand four hundred, maybe as we speak right now. But I love each and every one of you that come to here and spend your time watching my channel. Um, you can join. There's three links. Uh, three links. See, that's what alcohol does to you. If you get pulled over, you'll say stupid stuff like that to law enforcement and get arrested. Don't drink and drive. <laughs> There's three levels. Um, there is the two thumbs up level. I think one ninety nine. 
one ninety nine. Um, there's the captain's level. Yes, I think it's four ninety nine if you want to check it out. And then there is the big sword level, which is nineteen ninety nine, which is kind of crazy. Um, I don't expect many people to jump in there, but somebody asked me. A couple people asked me to go three levels up, um, so I did. And I, I'll be honest with you, I appreciate just y'all coming here. I don't want nobody to feel pressure coming here when I say stuff about join button. You don't have to join. Uh, if you do join, what happens at the beginning of this video, the lovely little intro I did with all the people that join my channel, I put your name in there, your channel name, so people can also go believe the, below this video. See the description? Below this video, you'll see a join button link, and then you'll see member links. Please click on all those members. Um, they're giving me money, supporting my channel, and I love each and every one of you out there to do it. So that's when I put them in the intro and the way to you know to give back to them. But please go support their channels. Just takes a second. Go there, watch a few minutes of video. Bam, hit this that subscribe button. Boom, that bell. I appreciate it. Um, that's what it's all about. If you want to check those join levels out, go ahead. If you don't, that's all right. I appreciate you just coming here watching the video. Hit that subscribe button if you knew that. Um, Till the next time, my friends. Oh, leave a comment. <laughs> Captain I'm like, you dummy, you didn't see, leave a comment. <laughs> okay, ain't allowed to talk like the Captain, I might get a copyright on that infringement. But yeah, leave a comment below this video. Tell me what you want to see more. Uh, like I said, I got a couple, I think I have one more. One more? One more. Yes. Lurry, slurry. One more drink review I'm going to do, my friends. For y'all, it's $5. I think it was 5 almost $6 per can that I brought. It's kind of expensive. Per can. Drink. Uh, that's going to be coming up real soon. You're going to see that review too. Of two drinks I picked up. I'm hoping it's tasty, tasty, not yucky, yucky. If it did, I waste some money. But you know, I do it all for you, my friend, so you won't have to waste your money. You kind of get an idea what it tastes like, the products that are on the market today. Sure, I do this. I am not an alcoholic. <laughs> Why are you whispering that? I don't know. But yeah, I appreciate each and every one of you. So if you will, my friends, like I said, subscribe, thumbs up to what? <laughs> I really have a Tam sack. Appreciate all my Filipino, Filipino, my Filipinos. I appreciate all my Filipino uh, subscribers and supporters. I know I want to have my premieres. Is majority of my uh, support comes from the Philippines, and a lot of people say, like, "Oh, you always say that." Well, I have to shout that out because when I check my analytics, Filipinas, <laughs> guess what? In the Philippines is where I'm getting all my support. Eighty, I think it's like eighty-six percent. USA is around about thirty-something percent or somewhere in there. Um, I appreciate everyone from America, from wherever you are. There's lots of other countries support my channel. But Beans, y'all really support my channel. And um, I forgot to shout you out so much. Uh, I know I'm buzzing right now, and they're probably laughing. It's like, he can't even hardly talk. This stuff has got me buzzing. <laughs> I ain't going nowhere after the review. But yes, my Filipino supporters, appreciate each and every one of you. Love you very much. Um, that's the reason my channel has grown, and that's the reason I'm doing what I'm doing today, because of each and every one of you that support my channel. I uh, appreciate all my American supporters, my European supporters, my supporters from all around the world. Where are you from? Germany? You're from the North Pole? I don't know Canada. From, I don't know Russia, China, Afghanistan. I don't, I don't know where you're from. There's so many of you. <laughs> if you're over there, tell me where you're from. Hey, if you're in the chat right now, if you're in this, this I, I know I'm dragging this out, but if you're over here in this premiere, just say where you're from right now. I'm giving you a chance right now. Shout out where you're from. Don't say hi. I know Chris. Don't put an emoji there right now. I want to see. This is like a test. Say what country you're in right now. If you're OFW, I don't care. Put what country you're in right now. I'm just interested to see who's on this premiere, where you're from. Um, Saudi Arabia, wherever it may be. Right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting. I'm waiting on you. Or is it on the side? I don't remember. <laughs> Don't drink and drive, my friends. All right, guys. I'm going to get out of here because I'm not dragging this out. I love each and every one of you. You know what you got to do. Stay safe and keep tubing.